Hello, today in this video, I'm gonna help you understand how our new subscription features work. This subscription feature is a lot more better than our previous subscription features. And here you can use recurring subscriptions or a fixed subscription. And also the customers are charged automatically, uh, you know, so you don't have to do any manual processes and it's fully integrated with our booking system as well. So to get started, you would come here and come to the subscription sections. Here you would either see the plus subscription button or, you know, the activate subscriptions. Uh, if there's an activate subscription button, click on the button and activate it. And then you can start using subscriptions. Here's the video you know that will be here and i'll show you there so we click on plus subscriptions uh, you add the subscription name you know this is shown in the text you add an internal name you add the selected title you can even allow a one-time purchase for the subscription and allow the booking comp so this helps in the scenario you know when you want to allow customers to book multiple times uh, but you know they purchase only once or you could have you know a recurring subscriptions where you add the frequency so for example uh, every two weeks uh, you know, I will give it to the customers. I'll allow the customers to book this time. I'll give them a 10% discount and they can book five, you know, they can do five bookings uh, every two weeks. And this could be the same display name. And this is the minimum and max cycle. I'll keep it to zero, which means, you know, it can be canceled anytime and it can be, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it's unlimited. So I'll click on save subscriptions. So this is the basic working of our subscriptions. That's how the subscription is created. So you see this booking subscriptions. I click on edit. So now here we'll add activators and connected variants. Uh, so activators are products or, you know, products through with in which you want subscriptions. Uh, so essentially, you know, it could be a single product. It could be multiple products. Uh, you know, it could be single variants. It could be multiple variants. So it, you give the flexibility of adding it to different products. But these are the products in which, you know, this subscription will be shown. So I'll click on here. So in these activators, you know, I'll see all my. So for example, I'll click on these three. So this is my product. So this becomes the activator and connected variants are the variants you know that you can book so these are you know the uh, the services that are in our app so essentially what would happen is you know if i purchase test sub 1s uh, you know i'll be able to book for these uh, variants or these products so essentially what i do i can you know it's it's part of the same one so essentially i can book it through the same thing so i click on save and you know it gets saved so now i'll go to the store and you know in the store i could should be able to see that uh, you know for my test sub one you know i should be able to see all my subscriptions out here so here i see uh, you know schedule your time and here i see my booking subscriptions and also you know here i see my one-time purchase uh, so essentially, I guess there's a UI issue, but um, anyways, uh, you know, you should see the subscriptions here. So what your customers can do now, your customers would come here, uh, you know, they'll, they'll come here, they'll be able to, you know, select the booking subscriptions, uh, you know, every two weeks, they get also 10% off in that, or they can do a one-time purchase, either of the two, uh, you know, this seems to be an issue, but we'll fix it. Uh, but anyways, either of the two, they can click on schedule your time and they can book and go to add to card and do the purchase you know that's how it works uh, you know they can either choose one time where we will get five bookings with this purchase or you know uh, subscription five bookings every two weeks and it will automatically renew so the subscription works in the same way where you know uh, in the other subscription apps where the booking is uh, you know renewed the billing is renewed every uh, you know every two weeks as per this configuration and also you know it's auto charge so you don't have to do it manually and everything is handled via system uh, also, you know, if I go to bookings here, the way it would be seen is this is how, you know, the, the, you will see the subscriptions out here. Uh, you know, you can click on manage, you can see the booking status, uh, you know, you'll see all the details out here. You can see the order scheduled, you can manually pick for them, or you can even cancel the subscriptions and basically you'll be able to manage everything. Also, uh, the good part is, you know, the customers, they will have their own booking portal. So for example, you know, I'll just go in and go in as a customer. And, you know, what I'll be able to see is a booking, my bookings out here. So they'll now be able to see a portal uh, and this will be activated for all of them, you know, not respectively. So they will see a booking portal and it will have your URL. So essentially, you know, it's, 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 it's going to be your do or domain, but essentially, you know, the booking portal will be of the customers. So the customers will be able to see the booking portal and, you know, once they click on this button, it will load up the portal so they can go in and sign in. So it's just send the verification code. So once the verification code has been sent,
specify the code out here. So this is the customer portal. Essentially, you know, they can see all their upcoming bookings. They can see their past bookings. Uh, you know, they can click on manage booking and here they see the subscription bookings as well. So, you know, they can also go in, they can manage, they can, uh, you know, book remaining slots. Uh, so book remaining slots will allow them to, you know, the same way do it. So basically they can manage everything on their own. They can delete the subscription. They see the data and everything in place. Even for the upcoming bookings, you know, they see everything and they can manage. So this customer portal helps them to do a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, in the future, we'll be bringing in more features to this customer portal where it will be your branding as of now, you know, it's, it's pretty simple, straightforward, and they can click on log out and move away or essentially, you know, they can come back to the Shopify site, to your site and work with it. So yes, you know, this is the new feature. This is the new subscription feature and we are very excited to bring it to you. Uh, you know, uh, there, there would be a lot of things, a lot of questions you would have, but we would definitely be able to happy to answer those. So thanks for your time.